Do you ever wonder why most Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts take around 10 to 15 years to get a black belt? And why some like myself can do it in four to five while only training five times a week at most while still working a full-time job and learning other things? It's got little to do with genetics and it's got everything to do with the way you train Jiu Jitsu. Now I wanna give you an, an analogy to help you understand that. Let's say you're in maths class. It's your first day, you have no idea what you're looking at. You've got an equation in front of you and you need to solve it. So you look at little Jimmy that's sitting next to you and you see that he's got some answers and you look at him and you think, man, he looks like he's pretty smart, I'm gonna copy that. So you copy his answers. And you do that for the rest of the day and then you just hand the sheet of paper in. The teacher looks at you and says, where's the working out? And you're like, up here. And then you walk back and you do it right on that day. And then, then test day comes along. And you're sitting there and Jimmy's now about 10 meters away from you. And you can't see what the hell he's written down on his paper. So you sit there and you twiddle your thumbs and you just make shit up. And you fail. That's the way most people start and learn jujitsu. They get to a position, which is basically like an equation. They have no idea how to solve it. So the teacher comes up and tells them, do this exactly the same way. Drill it a thousand times and that's it. And then the position changes and the teacher comes up and gives you another technique. Drill that another thousand times. And then it comes to competition or free rolling. And a new position comes up you've never seen. And you're sitting there and you're looking for your coach to tell you exactly how to do it, but you don't have enough time to sit there and rep it a thousand times and you lose. That's how most people train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now, if you look at the way I should have learned maths, I should have learned the formula. If I had learned the formula, then I could have worked out any equation. And that is the exact same in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And that's the way, that's why I teach the way I do. And I learn the way I do is because I'm not interested in how you're doing things. I'm interested in why, or how did you come up with that? That's what I'm interested in. And that's the way I like to teach it. I don't like to tell people exactly what to do because it may not suit them. And it'll only be good for one particular time in Jiu Jitsu. And in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the positions are ever changing. No two positions ever come up the exact same way twice. I can guarantee that. They may overlap and look similar, but it's never the exact same way. So to learn this way is really gonna be a long, a long time coming. And it's gonna be, a, as far as I'm concerned, a waste of time. There is a much better way of learning, which is through trial and error. Learn through trial and error. The good thing about learning through trial and error is that it's live and it's real. And when it's real, you stress and you get excited and you get scared. And when you do that, your amygdala, that's the part of the brain that's in charge of how deep to store that information, stores information much deeper when you're emotionally aroused. Can you think of a time where something really bad happened or really good happened in your life and you can probably remember that vividly, but most of the other shit when nothing really exciting happened, you can't remember? I'll give you an example, 9-11, I bet you can remember where you were. But 10 days later, I bet you can't. So your brain stores information on a much deeper level when you're emotionally aroused. How emotionally aroused are you when you're drilling? I hope you're not, <laughs> otherwise that's weird. But when you're free rolling, or you're doing specific training, you are. Now, I'm not just saying that you just go out and learn through trial and error. What I like to give you is guidance. I like to give you an algorithm to follow. If you do A, B, and C, in whatever way you like to do it, it's going to work. You're going to pass the guard. You're going to submit them. You're going to sweep them. But the good thing about that is it's flexible for the individual to figure out his own application. If I teach someone a technique, it's like showing them the cover of a book. But if I allow them the time and space to, do, to discover their own technique, that's like they've written that book themselves. There's so much information you store through trial and error, and we do this every single day in life. Pretty much everything we've learned is by trial and error. So why would we treat Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu differently? But we do, and that's why it takes so damn long to get good at it, because we're doing it wrong.